hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to work on a feature which is this pagination widget so daisy ui the component library which we are using for this project has this pagination component if you look at the jsx markup they have a div and then buttons inside that and i also wanted that next and back button the subtle button not the ones which were completely written right so i saw that these are the two buttons which i can pick so basically what i did was this component right and in this video i will explain how i am transforming the laravel paginated response into this pagination component and how we have made a reusable component so that you know be, below every table i can get this thing very easily so the first thing that we need to do is let's go to the urls index.tsx page and i have made some changes over here and the first thing is obviously this pagination so i have a check whether the url data dot total is present or not if it is and if that total is more than the urls per page so for example right now my pagination is 1 let's just say if i have a pagination of 5 and if i refresh you won't see the pagination why because at this point i am showing all the data so there is no need for a paginator so that condition fulfills that thing that is the condition based on which i am displaying this entire div okay i have this pagination component now i am sending the entire data the entire url data which is coming from the ajax request so the state variable is being used over here and on change i am having a function which is again a, a function which changes the state i am keeping a track of the page number so as you can see first thing is i have a router okay i'm using the use router hook i got the use the router object and what i have done is i have set the page number to either one or the query page this is important because let me show you once i make this as one and if i refresh when i go to urls and then if i do page two can you see this url changes right this is exactly what even laravel suggests us to do so that is the reason I have added that query param. So that state variable is tracking the current state. Uh, sorry, the number, the page number. Okay. And this hasn't changed really. And the delete hasn't changed as well. Initially, I had a code which would you know, fetch the data based on the component mount. So it was something like this. But then I have... A better option now because the page will set every time and the page component renders right so i have in the use effect i have done this and then i set the state loading page uh, set loading state to true that this, this is part of the previous code i added just this line of code where you know i am setting the router to have that query parameter then i fetch urls which is basically the ajax call to get the data this is the only change I have made in the URL listing page. Obviously, along with this you know, pagination thing. Now, let's look at the pagination component. This is the most important piece. And we need to understand what is happening over here. So, in this component, what we are doing is there is these data points which I am destructuring from the data property. So, I'll just get rid of the links. Okay, so the data property is coming through the props and obviously the on change is the function which also I'm passing through the prop. Okay, I have this and I have a state which again tracks the current page on the paginator component. Once the page is clicked, I set current page to the page number. Okay, and there is a back click, back next click button uh, functionality as well, which we will discuss in a bit. Okay, so we have these functions and the use effect is attached to the current page. Whenever the current page changes, I call the on 
change function which is coming from the props. Why? Let's look at that. So the first thing that we are doing is this is the back button. On click of the back button, I'm calling the back next uh, click with the value decrement. So if you see this back next click takes only these two values, which is the action. And if I'm saying and I'm saying that if the value is decrement and current page is greater than one, then I set the current page to current page minus one. So which means if it is already one, it don't it won't set to a zero value that is done after that because I have taken care of the backlink now I have all the page numbers from one to n n being the you know, total number of pages I have so data dot links why data dot links let's understand that again so data is an I paginated data right where I have the entire pagination properties coming from Laravel right so I have I'm expecting that the data prop will be of type I paginated data so data will have links based on the I pagination interface and it's an array so I run a map on it this is a logic for the button class whether the button class should have that button active or not the button active is responsible for giving this purple um, color to the current number that's how we understand that currently we are on page three right so this is the logic now what is this if index is equal to what is index index is basically when we are iterating if that length is the total length minus one or index is at equal to zero which means if it is the first one or if it is the last one I don't do anything over here because those two links will be taken care here and here right so the first element and the last element are excluded if these are not the first and the last element then we run the map function we render a button the button has the class name based on the logic whether it has to be active or not so if the current page and the link label so I'll show you the okay it will be a bit difficult but I can do something to show you the right so link right so the link is an array where we have label which is the number okay so what I'm saying over here is that if my current page is equal to the current label right then we are on the same page and hence we have the active button else a normal button so when we are iterating through the numbers if the current page is one and the label also says that we are on page one then we get the active otherwise we don't right so that logic comes in the button class is ticked over here on click of this button we are calling the page clicked function and we are sending the index so let's see quickly what we are doing on this function as as i already showed in here we have a very simple logic we just set the current page number to the index which we are passing on that is done and then we have this key so that you know we don't have that rendering issue the react rendering engine is able to identify individual buttons and we are showing the link label which is the actual number which is coming over here one two three four okay that is taken care of and then the last button I have on click with the value of increment because this is the next button and what happens during the increment so if my action is increment and current page total is not equal to the total sorry current page if my current page is not equal to the total number of pages which means let's just say I have five pages and my current page is also five then it shouldn't do anything otherwise it will set the current page equals to um, current page plus one because I'm doing an increment so when we are at one it says that it sees that okay my total is five I am on one so I click next it does one plus one on second it does two plus one three and it can go up to five after that it will stop right so with these things in place I'm getting this paginator so as you can see let's just say if I have a lot of records 
the paginator doesn't come in because right now the rendering logic which is here which says that the url total is greater than per page that doesn't happen so it doesn't render if i come over here and do exactly four even then it doesn't show anything but if i do three it gives me this pagination and I can click over here to see the last record. So yeah, that's how I was able to get the pagination based on the you know, Daisy UI component. It's a pretty straightforward implementation. So yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.